Dennis. We have someone we want you to meet. Oh. She's come to look after you. Right. Dennis, this is Nanny Moonbeam. It's just that... Uh... Can't hear you up there, Mr Daddy. Now, tell me again. We saw your programme on television and... Uh... Well, Dennis can be very naughty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, we don't say naughty, Mrs Mummy. It's just that he's unable to let his natural goodness shine through. See? Well, we think he needs more discipline. Oh, dear me, no. He just needs to put all his negativity in a tiny bottle of say sorry and let his love grow. Are you sure? We've tried... Now, if you're going to start a new life, you'll need a new name. What shall we call you? Captain Space Tiger! Um, uh, Dr Maximilian von Strudelheim? I think Little Denny Rainbow. <laughs> and you'll be Fluffy Flower Pop. <laughs> That's right, Curly. No punishments allowed. It's brilliant. I thought she might be tricky, but it's gonna be a pushover. <laughs> oh, oh, no, Denny Rainbow. You've just run over the kitchen floor. Was that kind? Kind of what? The kitchen floor doesn't like little people who think they're clever. Would you like to say sorry to the kitchen floor? Oh, yeah, <laughs> sure. And make Mr Floor happy. Would you like to give him a nice clean? I don't think so. Well, Mr Squidgy Widgey would. And I think he wants to start cleaning right away. Oh! Now, you must be hungry after all your work. What's your favourite food, Denny Rainbow? Um, pizza, hamburger, uh, chicken wings, <gasps> chocolate fudge cake. And what don't you like? Oh, I hate Brussels sprouts when they're all grey and... Then let's turn all that hate into love and respect, shall we? I've been boiling these for three hours and I'm sure you'll love them just as much as they love you. <laughs> Smiling. Fluffy Flower Pop wants his sprouty waltz too. <laughs> oh, I'm not doing any more of this. Rule number 52. We don't stop till the job is done, do we? And what happens when we break the rule? We discuss it in the talk it through teepee. And the contemplation kennel. <sighs> and we're also going to discuss making it up to Mr. Tree for climbing him this morning and breaking Rule 14. <laughs> Denny Rainbow! Now, do you know any whale music? Uh, uh, to go. See you later, Den. And now you'll want to welcome the frightened birds back to their homes, won't you? I made a din, my feathered friends. I had my selfish fun. I'll plant a flower for you because I broke rule 61. And what do we do then? <laughs> She's driving me crazy, Curly. Every time I do anything, she comes in and... What time, Denny Rainbow? And I'll see you at 5 a.m. for an extra plant a flower and sing how lucky we are session. Oh. That's it. We're leaving home. <laughs> OK, Nasha, get on board. <laughs> Life just can't get any worse. It can. 
Walter. What are you doing, Dennis? Tell him, Denny. Denny Rainbow, I'm enjoying the warm sunshine and pretty flowers. Huh. So, they're finally teaching you hooligans to behave. I'm Walter. I must congratulate you on having such a wonderful effect on Dennis. What a very charming boy. You should be more like him, Denny. Exactly. If you were like me, Dennis, you wouldn't always be getting into trouble, would he? <laughs> I am like Walter now, and I always will be, unless I can get rid of this woman. Hang on. What if Walter was like me, the real me? Then... <gasps> That's it, Nasha. It's simple. We have to make Walter more like me. You got to take a note to curl him pie face. Uh, what's all this then, Den? It's me plan to get rid of her. Listen, I don't have long. She's let me out on a trust exercise to buy probionic yogurt. These are for you. What? Scare her off? You wouldn't need glasses, pie face. You know. If he had a bow tie... There's a set for you too, Curly. He'd look like... Walter? <laughs> You're right! You see, I'm going to be good and Walter, that's you two, is going to be a menace. Then we'll see who needs Nanny Moonbeam. Right to Walter's, Jen. Because I want him everywhere. Uh, look at me! I'm Brainy! Can't be. Hi, Sergeant Slipper. It's me again. I'm so naughty. <laughs> and so artistic. <laughs> Walter? Everyone at work saw him. He climbed up the statue of Mr Scrimp and painted his nose blue. I can't believe it. Apparently he was seen in the high street too, releasing a load of penguins into a fish shop. Well, it doesn't sound like Walter. It was him, all right. He had a bow tie and he was carrying a violin. It's more the kind of thing Dennis would do. Den, Den! Except that he's here all the time. Poor Walter. It must be the strain of having all those brains. Nanny Moonbeam? Yes, Denny Rainbow? I have a confession. Nasha and I almost ran across the grass yesterday. We stopped ourselves, of course. Well done, little Denny. But I think I might need another session in the Talk It Through teepee. I think you're a very good boy. That's what we're hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> yes, today's the big one. Got the street map? The shovels? Shovels, check. Wheelbarrows, check. It's OK, Din. We'll get you out. And you know where you're headed. Go for it, then. She's certainly doing a marvellous job. Oh, yes. Today she made me clean out all the kitchen cupboards because I spilt some sugar on the worktop. Quite right. Yes, I accidentally mowed one of her flowers and she made me write a letter of condolence to its mummy and daddy. She's a wonderful person. Absolutely. But she's driving me mad! If I have to sit once more in that circle of truth... But how do we get rid of her? <laughs> Hello? Yes, yes it is. It's Walter's dad. Really? Quick drying cement? In the mayor's car? Poor Walter. He has gone off the rails, hasn't he? We do, actually. She's called Nanny Moonbeam. Recommend her? Oh, absolutely! Well, uh, we don't need her anymore. Uh, fine. Yes, I'll tell her right away. Oh, thank goodness. I don't think I could have taken much more. Me neither. Still, she's gone now. Everything's back to normal. But just because Nanny Moonbeam's gone doesn't mean you can misbehave, OK? Course not, Dad. <laughs> Result. <laughs> <laughs> I think young Walter and I are going to need an emergency session in the Talk It Through teepee. <laughs> oh! Well, Dennis, I think you got off quite lightly, considering. Let me see now. 
While setting the world speed record for three boys and a dog on one skateboard, you managed to terrify Walter and mess up his sweater. <laughs> flatten Parky Bowls' prize roses and turn yourselves into human pin cushions. Sorry, Mum. Well, I've calmed Parky and Walter down and I've offered to wash Walter's sweater, but be more careful in future, OK? Now run along, all of you. Thanks, Mum. And there's some chocolate chip cookies in the kitchen. <laughs> Your yeah, mum's so cool, Dennis. She's always standing up for you. Yeah, I bet you've got her something really great for Mother's Day, haven't you? Eh? Mother's Day? I made my mum a vase. Well, more of a pie dish, really. Curly, when is Mother's Day? Tomorrow, of course. Music. I'll write her a Mother's Day song. Let me see. Uh, yeah, Mum. Yeah, 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 Mum. You're so cool. Oh yeah. Uh, you really rule. Any ideas? Uh, na na na. Brilliant. Yeah, Mum. You're so cool. Oh yeah. You really rule. <laughs> For goodness' sake, Dennis, you'll wake me up. It at once. So she doesn't like music after all. Back to the drawing board. <gasps> the drawing board? Yeah! Curly, weren't you top of the class in Mrs. Creature's last art test? Well, yes, but. Uh... Hurry it up, Curly! I'm getting a crick in my neck. Won't be much longer, then. You can't hurry art, you know. <laughs> What's that? Get out! Oh. 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 I quite like it. That's because it doesn't look like me. It looks like a pie. It's not my fault. Even Leonardo da Vinci couldn't pay it properly if he was being attacked by fleas. Can't give it to me, Mum. We'll have to think of something else. Everything we need for cheesecake or a pie face. Your mum will love it. Okay, let's get going. Yeah. Uh, not there. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Wow! It looks really good, pie face. What now? We have to leave it to set. Put it on the shelves. Dennis! <laughs> ah, there you are. It's supper time, OK? Hmm, <laughs> pity. It would have been the best yet. <laughs> yoo Dennis! Oh, uh, hello, Gran. Hmm, what are you up to? Oh, uh, well... I was thinking about borrowing some flowers from the Colonel's garden. Forgot a gift for Mother's Day? Yeah. That's bad. Your dad always gets me something nice. So, when Dad was a boy, what would you have liked him to get you? <laughs> well, he was a bit of a menace too, you know. I'd have been happy if he'd just kept out of trouble. Of course! That's it! Gran, you're a genius! There. That'll do the trick. This'll be a Mother's Day Mum will never forget. Good dad. Good mum. There you go, Mum. Happy Mother's Day. Oh! What's this, then? <laughs> oh! See what he got me? Oh, he's such a good boy. Yes. 
Yes, he is. Happy Mother's Day, Mum! Tennis! How lovely! I didn't think you'd remember. Of course I did, Mum. And for your present, I'm going to stay out of trouble for a whole day! Well, that would be nice. Dennis, stay out of trouble? I'll believe it when I see it. Well, just stay in my room, OK? I can't get into any trouble there. you what, Nasha. We'll just practice a few skateboard tricks. about Dennis. <laughs> good, good. Tell you what, best of three. You're on. of getting into trouble there. <laughs> this is cool, Nasha. A total trouble-free zone. <laughs> oh, no! The window! <laughs> oh, only just... Hey, Dennis! We're going fishing in the park. Want to come? Yeah! Great idea! A nice quiet afternoon's fishing in the park, Nasha. I mean, it's not like skateboarding, is it? What could possibly go wrong? <sighs> Everything all right, dear? Still feeling relaxed? Mm, yes. Oh, almost too relaxed. Here go! Hey, my hat! Hey, what the? Must be caught on a root or something. So then he said, "Pardon me, Al. Is that the cat that chewed your new shoes?" <laughs> 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 Mum, how about you, dear? Have you enjoyed your day? Oh, yes. It's been so peaceful and quiet. Well, the day's nearly over, so you'd better brace yourself. Ah, Dennis. I'm guessing this is the end of Mother's Day, then? Yeah. Uh, sorry, Mum. Normal service has been resumed. Dennis. Yes. Now let's all just calm down. <laughs> Bee's nappy cream, Dad's greasy hair oil, and Mum's silky face. 
ice cream. Time to test out my latest gold fast oil masher. Dennis? Uh-oh. Time for some amateur dramatics, Nasha. <laughs> Wait until I tell your father. Mmm. Pizza would be great, Mum. What, what? What? What's Dennis been up to now, Sergeant Slipper? Well, he, he, uh, he, he ran over my Wolf. foot and... Uh... Nasha, you know Dad doesn't like you eating out of his hat. What are you talking about, Dennis? Hmm. You know, he might have had a bit of a bump on the head. You think? Uh, maybe you should, uh, well, you should take him to the hospital for a once-over. Yes. Well, I suppose I'd better. Looks like we buffed our way out of trouble again, Nasha. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. No, not you, Nasha. Pets aren't allowed in hospital. Nasha! So, what do you think's wrong with Dennis, Doctor? Hmm, his um, odd behaviour could be due to his fall. It had better be. Hmm. Oh, this place is no fun. I wish Nasha was here. <laughs> I could have sworn I... Let's get Dennis to the X-ray department. A quick scan should confirm what's going on up here. Hey, watch it! I'm not well, Mum. So, how is Dennis, Doctor? Hmm. Extraordinary. It appears your son has swallowed a dog. Nasha! <coughs> Come away, Nasha. The doctor says Dennis needs total rest. No, I just need to go home. Well, out of the question, I'm afraid. We need to keep Dennis overnight for observation. Overnight? But, but... That's fine, Doctor. Dad! You heard what the doctor said, Dennis. Come on, Nasha. Time to get you home. <laughs> now, the rules of my ward are no pets, no chocolate, no TV, no computer games and no... Fun! This place is worse than school. No complaining. You're here to get better, not to have fun. Hi, Dennis. What? Walter? Do you know Walter? Yeah. Unfortunately. Well, he's quite the star in our hospital radio. Yes, I'm their best volunteer DJ. Tune in to Walter's Radio Marathon tonight. It's going to be jazz-tastic. Ciao. Oh, why didn't I just fess up and take the punishment? It couldn't have been worse than being stuck in here with DJ Walter. Now, Dennis, if you need anything, just buzz this buzzer and I'll come running. You will? Cool. Yes? Could I have some water, please? Certainly. Could you pass me a comic? What about your water? Could you... Anything else you'd like me to do before I buzz off? No, thank you. I hate this hospital! Oh, hang on. 
Meatballs! My favourite! Here you are, Walter. Let you keep you topped up for your radio show tonight. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Shame there's only steamed cabbage left. <laughs> Catch you later, listeners. Nasha, good to see you. <laughs> Quick, hide. Can I go home now, Doc? No, I'm afraid you aren't going anywhere for 24 hours. But there's nothing wrong with... That is, I feel much better. Honest. Rest is what you need, and rest is what you will get. No, I need to go home. Mum and Dad will be missing me. Oh, it's so peaceful without Dennis under our feet. I've told your mother and father that you'll be under observation until we see a real improvement. Improvement? Him? <laughs> Sounds like you'll be in here a while, Dennis. <laughs> That's it! We're breaking out of here now! One. But I'll never fit into that. You don't need to. It's a bed bath. A what? But, but, I had a bath last month. Wait! I... Whoa! Oh, that's... Freezing! No dogs allowed. Though he is still very tired, he'll need much more rest. Oh, you could say that again. <laughs> It's 
chuck away the detention book, Dennis? Of course! If Mrs Creature hasn't got it, she won't know when we're in detention. And I'm in for the rest of the year. Yeah, but we're not. <coughs> what are you boys doing? You know you're not allowed here. Uh, sorry, Mrs Creature. Uh, we were just looking for um, uh, uh, me old skateboard. Weren't we, Pie Face? Yeah. Here we are! <laughs> now, pay attention. Here's an important message from the Mayor. Good morning, class. I am pleased to announce that Beano Town School has been chosen to test a new administration system. No more wasteful paper. Everything's been computerised. But remember, it's vital that you follow the computer's instructions to the letter. Here's my new laptop. Excellent! This memory stick holds all the information you need. Diaries, timetables, records, everything. Now, all the info has been transferred to your laptop. Amazing! Now, all we have to do is consult the computer to see what we're doing next. There. You're all set. Thank you. Did he say every bit of information's in the stick, Mrs Creature? Yes, Dennis. Including all your detentions. Plus a new one for mucking about by the bin this morning. Oh, not fair! And Curly and Pieface will be joining you. Huh? Nice one, Dennis. All afternoon in detention thanks to you. At least you're not stuck in there forever like I am. Hey! This is the memory stick that guy had. He must have dropped it. So? So maybe we should take a little trip to the computer room. Wow! How wicked is that? It's the master program for Mrs Creature's new system. Does that mean you can delete it? Don't be daft. Why delete it when you can change it? It's time school with fun! Settle down, please. Let's see what's in store for us today. I think it's our history test this morning, Mrs Creature. Oh, it's been cancelled. Yeah! That's appalling, Mrs Creature. Walter, you heard what the mayor said. We must follow the computer's instructions exactly. Now, what else has changed? Oh, all detentions cancelled. Pies and ice cream for lunch. Oh, and there's a new rule that says pets can come to school. <laughs> So, what is our first lesson, Mrs Creature? It's... Uh, drum and bass studies. Oh! <laughs> nice one, Dennis! <laughs> yeah, even Mrs Creature's enjoying herself. Oh, this is outrageous! The school's going to the dogs! <laughs> Mrs Creature! Oh! Walter, don't be a square. What's next, Mrs. Creature? Uh, go kart racing. Remember ordering all these cars? Oh, hello. That new computer system. Are you sure you installed it correctly? Everything's, uh, different. Well, it will seem different for a while. Don't worry, just do what it says. It is foolproof. <laughs> Come on, Mrs. Creature. You're missing all the fun. Mrs. Creature, you have to stop this at once. 
She's doing what the mayor says, Walter. I think you're just trying to get her into trouble. Walter, I'm surprised at you. Away. No, it's up to us to save the school. In fact, this is our chance to make it the school we've always dreamed of. This is amazing, Dennis. I never thought I'd wake up looking forward to school. Eh? Next. Thank you, Walter. Next. Wait for Dennis's turn. Why can't Nasha come in? Oh, they've changed the rules again. So send him home and get changed out of those ridiculous clothes. Hide somewhere. And now hand over those sweets. Oh, genius, Walter. Ha! This is only the beginning. Someone's changed the computer program again. Where's the memory stick? I don't know. It must have fallen out of my pocket in the car race. All right, settle down, please. So, today we have the history test we didn't have yesterday, then maths, flower arranging, and experimental jazz appreciation. And uh, what's for lunch, Mrs. Creature? Uh, lettuce and seaweed soup made from hand-picked Sicilian lettuce and baby Norwegian kelp. Oh. Yeah! Oh, and Dennis, all your detentions are back again. Right. I should have known. I can't take much more of this. We have to get the memory stick back from Walter. And now, one of my favourites, Sleepless Night by Glass Popper Van Shriek. Walter, hand it over. Catch, Bertie! We got rid of Walter's system. Please, Mrs. Creature. No, Walter. We're going back to the old ways and that's it. Quite right, Mrs. Creature. And as for this, I know exactly what I'm going to do with it. Wow! 
Thanks, Gran. The Super Loud 2. Special Extra Loud Edition with added loudness. Loud, then. Comes with these industrial strength earplugs. Fantastic! Let's try it out, eh? It'll have to wait, Dennis. I promised Walter we would be the test audience for his lecture. Walter? Lecture? Oh. Well, of course, the very few of us here who are as smart as I will know the process is called photosynthesis. I hope you have enjoyed my talk on the science of flowers. Bertie, if you please. Great! Is it over? Until tomorrow at assembly, yes. This was just a dress rehearsal. You say something? Come on, Nasha. We've got a brand new amp and a world waiting to complain. Now, let their ears beg for mercy. Dun, dun, yay! <laughs> Go bouncy castle! Sorry, B. Band practice. Got senses to assault, you know. Dun, dun, bouncy castle now! Oh, B. <laughs> Get it, B. Me music comes first. <laughs> now we go, Bouncy Castle. <laughs> it's just not fair. I always have to give in to B. Yeah, her bottom's unbeatable. Or is it? Quick! Sooner we get our gear up into the treehouse, the better. Dun, dun. Play park now! Ain't gonna happen, B. <laughs> Me need windy beans! <laughs> Take my windy beans! Come on, tin makers! Let's get set up! OK, then. Ready to rock? Yeah. Just got to plug in and... Hey! Where's the volume knob? The volume knob on my amp's gone! Maybe it's invisible, then. No. I know exactly who did this. Give me that volume knob, B. Then, then, give me windy beans! No way! OK. Me hide, nubby nub. No! Oh! What? Me glad who's here, bouncy pals. <laughs> Hi, Tooth. <laughs> Thanks, Jakes. <laughs> OK. Got poo poo nappies. Squirty milk milk. Scary faces. <laughs> Can't we just go and look for the volume knob? And leave the beans unprotected? No, she only needs one can. We have to let B make the first move. <laughs> ah! What was that? <laughs> Yuck! Nobby attack! Okay, lads, get the light bulb. Just give us the location of the volume knob and you can go. Okay, have it your way. Curly, bring me the soap and water. It's bath time. <gasps> Ah. 
volume knob is, or I will give you a kiss. Oh, Dennis, no! I know what I'm doing, Curly. No! Okay, me tell. Ugh. Me head knob. Walter, Dennis will be your flower. <gasps> no! Good morning, children. At today's assembly, we have an extra special treat for you. Just think floral, Dennis. Now let's go check our props, Dudley. And don't think you can dodge this, Dennis. I'll be watching. Me? <laughs> Thought you were grounded. Me escape. Me sorry, Den Den. Yeah, me too, B. Me help. How? In three minutes' time, Beano Town's biggest menace will be Beano Town's biggest laughing stock. So, unless you know how to empty a school hall in under. <gasps> of course! B, your bottom can empty any room in seconds. But no beans! Yeah, they're all still in the treehouse, and Dad's boarded that up. All right, team, on stage, please. <gasps> Wait! Master, Master! The Den Den! Ah, a spotlight and a full house. What more could one want? <laughs> Paper bag. Think I'm gonna puke. So, without further ado, let us raise the curtain on... Oopsie. Once B brings that volume knob, this new amp is finally gonna rock Beano Town! Glad you two aren't fighting now. Yeah, we're a good team. Yep, you're a sis in a million, B. He's got a nubby nub nub! Great! Where'd you hide it then? Oh, brilliant! Disgusting, but brilliant! Excuse me, but don't you think that's a little loud? Loud? <laughs> no, 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 carry on. No, my mistake. Must be around here some 
somewhere. <gasps> Any luck? Not yet. But you know Pie Face. He thinks the Beano Town Pie Festival is like a whole month of birthdays rolled into one. And if we don't find him soon, we'll have a repeat of last year's disaster. Wait! There he is! <sighs> the Pie Festival. People selling pies, buying pies, eating pies. I don't think so. Remember what happened last year? I can't hold him, Dennis. We have to, Curly. Cos if we don't... Oh, no. No pie face! No pie face! Don't do it! Oh, he's doing it. Remember now, Pie Face? Oh, yeah. And remember what our dad said? If it happened again, we'd be grounded till we were 90. <gasps> It'd be worth it for one more taste of that winning pie. No, it wouldn't be worth it. I don't want to be grounded and stuck at home. Me neither. Look, Pie Face, there are plenty of things to do better than eating pies. There are? Yeah, loads of things. Come on, let's go and have some fun. Take your mind off it. Here, over here. <laughs> oh, nice one. <laughs> together, but he's still thinking about pies. I know. I think it's time for plan B. Aversion therapy. Aversion? What? You'll see. Explain it to me again, Dad. Why are we giving him pie? We're not curling. See, if he takes it, his teddy bear gets it. No pie face! Don't do it! No! Oh no!
sorry, Walter. Nearly crashed into your stall. Good job you didn't. I reckon I'm on course to win again this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, looks like we beat him here. How do you know? Cos no one's screaming, get off me pies! So, what now? Dunno, but I'll think of something. Ladies and gentlemen, soon it'll be time to pick the winner of the grand title Best Pie in Festival, which should be... Uh, soon. Uh, when our chief judge arrives, that is. <laughs> You've got a plan, haven't you? Oh, yes. Then, Curly, because here goes Pipers! Okay, I'm on my way! No, Pipers! No! Pies! Right, that's it! Just wait till I tell your dads! You'll be grounded forever! Nasha, quick! Plan C! Walter out of the way. Now, I've just got to keep Pie Face occupied for a while. <sighs> oh no, you don't! <laughs> Let me go! No! <laughs> all those pies! Ow. Don't worry, you'll get all the pies you want in a minute. <laughs> Yes, just a few minutes, I promise. Are you sure? Trust me, have I ever let you down? <clears throat> uh, ladies and gentlemen, there's been a slight delay. Our uh, chief judge still hasn't turned up. I wonder what could have happened to her. Ooh, I don't get it. I'm sure that curly-haired kid said the pie festival was here. Mr. Mayor, how about a standing judge? Uh, well, I don't know. Remember what happened last year? Oh, oh yes, yes, I remember. Yes, but you have to admit, no one knows more about pies than Pie Face. Yeah, well, there is that. Pie Face, Pie Face, Pie Face, Pie Face. Oh, very well. Come on up then, lad. Yay! Yay! Oh, what do I have to do? Well, you just have to taste all these pies and tell us which one's best. <gasps> now, when you say taste. <laughs> <laughs> so. Do we have a winner? No. I, I just can't choose. They were all so good that they're all winners. You saved the day. And as a reward, here are some special presentation pies. <laughs> <Stop>! <laughs> <laughs> will be dogs. And you two did save the pie festival. I, I think we'll overlook it on this occasion. You know what? I don't really fancy any more pie for now. Uh.